Yo, what's up? Incredible I things straight out of Africa. I am Y311H. My bunny friend here is Kasugumo. And today, my friend, we are ready to react together with you to some extremely interesting videos with the aim of spreading love, peace, honesty, and forgiveness to the whole world. So kindly hit the like button, subscribe, buckle up, grab some snacks, and get ready to dive into these videos. But my friend, before that point, it's good that we acknowledge God Almighty, our Creator, the one that has enabled us to be even able to see one another. So let's give thanks, my friend. Dear Lord, King of Kings, Father. Dear Lord, we are above all other gods, Father. Mighty one, King of Kings, we worship you, dear Lord. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness, Father. Thank you for the breath of life in this wonderful soul, Father. All glory and honor belong unto you, Father. Dear Lord, thank you for the videos we have today. Thank you for the animals and everything, Lord, that shall be involved through these videos. Bless our fruits and everyone, Father. Help us to understand these videos and to spread love to everybody. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. My friend, before we dive in, I'd also like to share something else with you. Something that I believe is very helpful and can be used in building our life because it's from the Book of Wisdom, aka the Guide of Life. My friend, can you pass me the book? Yeah. So my friend, listen to what it says. Consider how the lilies grow. They do not harbor or spin, labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon, in all his splendor, was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Luke 12 from 27. Wonderful world. My friend, there is no need to worry about anything. Let's dive in. Something really, really strange is happening in our oceans and the wildlife is clearly reflecting that. Groups of whales have been coming together before beaching and unaliving themselves and scientists have no clue why. This specific group was located near Australia and the general assumption was that they may have just wandered too close to shore by accident. But the exact same thing happened near Taylor's Bay and according to the locals who were trying to help, the whales and dolphins sounded like they were screaming for help. Check it out real quick. First stranded before 2 p.m. yesterday at the rocky beach in Taylor's Bay. They were screaming. <laughs> it is probably the thing that's stopping me from sleeping because you can hear the screaming in your ears. Um, they were making more than a noise. They were really yelling out for help. And even after the locals and rescue teams helped the whales back into the water, they re-beached themselves further down the coast, almost as if they refused to go deeper into the ocean. Over in the beach in Oregon, a female anglerfish washed up, which is really strange when you consider that they live two to 3,000 feet deep. And with the huge anomaly that we were initially told was a glitch coming back, people's speculation is starting to grow and theories are starting to circulate. I touched on the first theory that states that very large creatures or a very large creature, possibly Leviathan, has entered our ocean's ecosystems, eating the wildlife and scaring them as well. But there's a second theory stating that some sort of frequency device is being used or tested, heating up the oceans and scaring the wildlife. Leave a like and let me know what you think. 
Do me a favor, take your shoes off, put it on the ground. When you put your shoe on the ground, does it lay flat or does it have a curve to the sole? Almost like if you push it back and forth, it acts like a rocker. Because if it does, then we're putting our feet all day long in a position like this. And when we have a position like this, it directly inhibits those muscles on the bottom of our foot from having to work much. And if we're continually wearing a shoe like that, our foot muscles are gonna get weak because we're not using them. Use it or lose it applies to your foot too. So if our foot doesn't naturally sit curved, don't you think we should also be wearing a shoe that isn't? It's literally so over for humanity. This is a conversation between two AIs trained by Facebook to negotiate with each other. And while they might not seem like they're making sense, they're actually speaking an artificial language entirely constructed between themselves. Although the bots were trained on an English data set, they obviously didn't actually speak English. So they ended up assigning their own meanings and grammatical rules to better understand each other in the negotiation. And in another experiment, researchers were able to get two AIs to create their own communication protocol using colors and shapes instead of words. They did this simply by asking the bots to speak to each other. And at that point, they ended up making their own language without any further supervision. Now we've already known that AI is better at encoding information than human language. For example, Google Translate works by turning sentences into more efficient strings of numbers that they then translate to the other language. But we're also rapidly approaching a reality where AIs can figure out how to communicate with each other in highly efficient ways that we don't even understand. It's often been compared to cryptophagia, the phenomenon where twins develop a secret language between themselves that only they can really understand. Only in this situation, the twins aren't twins, they're machines that are already way more intelligent than we are. Huh, they had to find out the truth and it's a shock. Look at this uh, life hack here, demonstrated by some good vibes guy. And another one, good vibes guy is ready to try it out for us. For us. Let's check it out. Allegedly, if you apply toothpaste on uh, eggs, there's something creepy that will happen. And you put them for 24 hours. Hmm. It's like the toothpaste affects the shell of the egg. What? My god, look at this. This is unbelievable. Oh, imagine now the tooth. Oh my god. If that's what the toothpaste can do to the eggs, what about the teeth? This is crazy. Anyway, my friends. All this is for entertainment purposes. You see, if you from this side of the world, people used to use the normal or God given to the brush from trees. You see, let's check it out. Huh. Here's some phobias that I think are pretty interesting. I'm gonna try to pronounce them, but no promises. Starting off with barophobia, this is the fear of gravity that has to be debilitating. That's like the only constant thing in this world. Electrophobia, this is the fear of chickens or hens. Uh, yeah. Have you ever met a chicken in person? They're terrifying. Kumpunophobia, I don't know. I don't know. This is the fear of buttons. So like buttons on a shirt or like buttons you press. This one I kind of get. Buttons are scary if you don't know what they do. Tyrophobia, this is the fear of clustered holes. If you're telling me that doesn't terrify you, you're not human. Dentophobia, this is the fear of dentists. This is completely valid. Why do you need that sharp thing in there? Thought you were cleaning my teeth. Chiclephobia, this is the fear of chewing gum. Now, on the website, it only said chiclephobia, fear of chewing gum. So I don't know if that's fear of chewing gum or fear of chewing gum. You see? The people y'all refer to as sleep or the ones that lack self-awareness and stuff like that, y'all gotta understand there is a rubric, there is a script, there is a program that they have to abide by. You feel me? Their spirit cannot process the information you are giving them. And how does that manifest? It manifests as, oh, he's a conspiracy theorist. Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, this person is crazy. And it's not necessarily them thinking that, it's just, they're not vibrating at a level high enough to process that information. It's kind of like when you're playing a video game and the video game has to go by a certain script and it has to go by a certain narrative in a storyline and there's really nothing you can do to alter that unless you like add mods to the game. It's like you're at a certain level in a video game and you quite literally cannot go into the next level until you unlock it, until you acquire the things that's necessary to unlock these things. This is why when you explain something to somebody and you can lay it out in the most simplest terms you can lay it out in black and white and they still don't understand or they still reject the information it's because their program 
is not designed for them to process that information. Just like if you're in a video game, if you're at level two, the program is not designed for you to access level five until you get to level five. This is why, when, especially with people who have no knowledge, no intellect, no wisdom in regards to the topic you're talking about, and they just retaliate with, oh, you're crazy, and they have no experience in these fields, that is part of their program. That is like, they cannot operate, they cannot give you a different dialogue. This is where the term NPCs come up. Y'all gotta understand, a lot of these people are on autopilot. You know, and I know, this is probably not y'all's first time hearing this, but these people are like filler characters in the movie. They're, they're only there to make this shit appear real. This is why you'll see people out here with no common sense, or you'll see somebody do something or say something, and you're thinking to yourself, what would make you think or say or do something like that? And it's all just a part of their program. It's all to make this experience seem more real than what it actually is. See, we are governed by a Saturnian system, Saturn, you feel me? We are water molecules that became dense enough to have physical avatars. That's why when you hear the word saturation, notice the word Saturn is in it, and what is, Saturn? What is saturation? It's retaining water, you feel me? Because the universe isn't anything but vibration and frequencies. It's nothing but water. So the, the, the more you ascend, the less dense you become. You feel me? Air is just a less, a less dense version of water. Their mind, body, and soul, aka their water cycle, is too dense. It's too shallow for them to process and grasp this information. Because your certain state of mind governs the flow of your blood. And blood is just a more dense version of water. If you think negatively, your blood is going to flow in a certain way. If you think positively, your blood is going to flow in a certain way. Hence, you are seven, your body is 75% water. You feel me? The earth is 75% water. You feel me? You are a microcosm of the macrocosm. The planet earth is governed by Saturn. Saturation. You can't spell saturation without Saturn. Saturation means to retain water. And we all have our own water cycle and water flow. And this is why these people can't grasp your information. In one way you can understand your specific water cycle is through your birth chart, through astrology. You feel me? Because astrology, it, it quite literally tells you your flow, your currency, your frequency, your vibration. You, you in the infinite pool as a little raindrop being this one human being. Notice how the field of astrology in the zodiac is governed by the sign Aquarius. What planet rules Aquarius? Saturn. Saturn in astrology also governs society. And what are most of these NPCs running off of? Societal expectations. What society says is right and wrong. What? You gotta be kidding me. UFO mystery could be linked to advanced stealth civilization on Earth? How? How is it that these reports, these articles keep coming out. Nobody's saying shit about them. Nobody. Nobody's really talking about it. And it's like they're putting it in your fucking face. Stealth civilization. I mean, yeah, it could be. But we don't fucking know that it is. It is. Because even the Pentagon said that nothing is coming from out of space. They know that. How do they know that? Because they explore space. Right? But... But here's the important part. During an interview a couple of years back with, uh, with the Pentagon spokesperson, he said, and I'm paraphrasing, we don't know where they're from, we don't know who's driving them, and we don't know what they're made of. But we know they're not from space, and we know that they're not made by human hands. Think about that. Did anybody else know this? The next time you go by a TV, the inches on the box are just the inches of the box. You're waiting for me to say something sarcastic and something slighted, something degrading and demeaning and underhanded, aren't you? Don't worry, I'll get there in a second. But could we all just take a moment and agree the fact that 
the giant numbers on the side of the box are not actually the side of the TV? I mean, the fact that they put the word diagonal and tiny print next to it is ludicrous at best, right? We're all in line with that. I want a 55-inch TV that's 55 inches across. Let's be honest, we all want the same thing. Now, back to the kids. Children, please make sure that you read all of the fine print before you purchase anything in this world, because there are hundreds, if not millions, of people who are trying to get one over on you. And that doesn't just go for the TV, that goes for basically anything else in this world. Just a little advice from someone who's been down that road many, many times. Yo, what the heck is this? Oh my god. This thing is like a trident. What is this? I mean, they got like seaweed all over. This must have came from like the bottom of the ocean. It's like a trident. Five absolutely mind-blowing Mandela effects. Number one, where's your kidneys located? Lower back or in the ribcage? It's in the ribcage. Yes, it's not lower back. There's no boxing kidney shot anymore where you go round the body. It's in. If you don't believe me, go Google it. Let me know. Number two, where's your heart located? If you said on the left-hand side, then you're from the reality that I'm from, which isn't the reality we're in right now. Because the one we're in right now it's in the centre, slightly to the left, as the picture. Bonkers. Number three. Let's forget about the headbands. Apparently, he never had a headband anyway. But also, this guy just died again. Richard Simmons died on the 13th of July, five days ago. But he's died again, because if you're like me, you'll remember him, him dying years ago. Number four. Patrick Swayze. When did he die? Did you think he died in 2009? Same year as Michael Jackson, just three months after Michael Jackson, in fact. Didn't happen. Didn't die that long ago. Let me know what you think. And last one. Have we got any uh, Wizard of Oz fans out there? Because the Scarecrow apparently had a gun. Does anybody ever remember that? When we need things to look wet in movies, we don't always use water. Sometimes props and actors need to be the same level of wetness for long periods of time, and water dries too fast. In props, the costume department and the makeup department all have different recipes. If we need a prop beer bottle to glisten with condensation, we'll use vegetable glycerin mixed with a little bit of water and spray it on. And the droplets will stay like that for hours, if not days. It also looks great for a rainy, misty window. This costumer is using hair gel on the actress's outfit so it'll look wet and stay wet. For permanent sweat, costumes will use a combination of glycerin, water, oil, and yellow and brown tint. In Stranger Things, Billy perspired a lot, so the makeup artist used Lip Glass Lip Gloss by MAC, and that way she could keep an even level of shininess on his skin. So basically, if you need to look wet, it's no sweat. Oh, I've seen footage of Japan tsunami. This is uh, extremely scared. Wait for it, my friends. Look closely. Oh my god. This is crazy stuff. Some of this stuff really does on my mind. You see? I see them here in different videos and I'm surprised. It's hard even for my brain to fathom that uh, such things really occur. You see? I'm really sad and sympathetic towards the people living in such type of areas. You see? May God always keep them safe. Wonderful souls. This is crazy. This is lots of water coming from the ocean towards the land. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. I also pity the fish in the river there or in the ocean. Oh, some of them have to be displaced from their homes. Oh, this is sad. This is mad. This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, what causes such things to occur? Ah, wow, 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 wow. Mi faccio vedere questa particolarità oh del mio corpo che non sa nessuno. Ce l'ho da sempre. Vieni, vieni, guarda, vieni, guarda. iPhone Boro Max? We've got a remora fish here, which is a type of fish that sucks itself to like a shark and just rides with it. You can see this little suctions there. I can actually feel the suctions on my hand. So it's a pretty, uh, 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. See how it's stuck to his arm? That's so cool. <laughs> Wonderful! And in other places of the world, which looks like this side of the world, some good vibes guys came across this herd of uh, of the most rare, 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 rare breed of deers. Crazy! Trying the 0.05 dollar street juice. My friend, how much is 0.05 in our man? 50 bob. Uh, 50 bob. Oh, 50 bob. Oh, uh, 50 bob. Juice worth 0.05 dollars. Oh, you see from this side of the world, well, that's a lot. You can get to yourself quite some juice. Not even one glass. Almost a whole jerry can. You see? Oh. But why does it look like that? The particles inside. It's India. It's India. Oh, guy, 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 guy. Please, good people of Earth, let's uh, enhance honesty, cleanliness, uh, goodness, caring for your neighbor if you care for yourself. You know, whatever work you do. You imagine that the person you're providing the services to could be yourself, you see? That way you'd be blessed abundant. Which juice is this? What fruits is used to make this juice? Or it's made out of something else, not fruits? Eh? It gives people guy, go guy. Those are baby flying fish, and despite the name, they don't actually fly. They fall with style. Sorry, I like Toy Story, okay? What I mean by that is that they actually just glide, and then they use their tail to try to keep that glide going as long as they can. Hope that helps. When you hear the word Buddha, which of these two do you think of? If they're both Buddha, then why do they look so different? You see, the word Buddha doesn't refer to a single person, but instead a status. Those who have reached Nirvana, or enlightenment, are given the title of Buddha. This person that I'm sure you've seen depicted in sculptures and paintings is actually named Siddhartha Gautama, who many understand to have been born in what is now modern day Nepal 2,500 years ago. It's through him that the beliefs and philosophy of Buddhism developed. However, Buddhists don't believe he was the first Buddha. It's believed that others have reached Nirvana around the world in the centuries before him. And it's also believed that people after him would reach states of enlightenment which is where this other Buddha comes in. A man from the 10th century China known as Budai or the Laughing Buddha. Here's a life hack for you. So Jesus quoted the book of Psalms more than any other book in the Bible. It was actually his prayer book. So if you struggle knowing what to pray, read a Psalm every single day and then pray it back to God, adding your own thoughts and needs to it as well. Scientists have this recording that is clearly a whale recording, but doesn't belong to any known species of whale. The whale they named 52 Hertz because that's the frequency they were hearing these calls. Somewhere out there in the world is one of two things, a known species of whale that's calling and making a sound that nobody's ever heard or recorded before, or larger theory, an unknown species called the loneliest whale, meaning there's only one or two of them out there making this call, trying to find another one. It's just an interesting conspiracy whale theory. I don't think it's at all beyond possible that there are some incredibly shy and elusive cetacean species out there that we don't know about. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's right up there. You see it? Yeah, it's above the rock. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God. If you see yourself in a dream, and in that particular dream, you know that you are a genie, then watch this video to the end. If you see yourself in a dream, and within yourself, I know, yes, I am dreaming, this is just a dream. That is to say, even when you are dreaming, you are aware you are dreaming, and you can exit the dream whenever you sense danger or bad things are about to happen to you. Let's say somebody wants to stab you at the back, or stab you at the chest, shoot you, or kill you in that dream, you have the power to wake up and discontinue the dream. Such a dream is called dreaming within a dream. It simply means that you are so powerful over your spiritual life. It means you are so spiritually powerful to an extent that you can control what happened to your spiritual life. It means you have a very powerful sense of awakening. You are a very strong personality. You are so powerful that even though you are dreaming, 
you know you are dreaming. It means the presence of God in your life. It also means that you have a good relationship with your guidance angel that is always put you as a lot and no evil can conquer you. No evil can manipulate you spiritually because you are spiritually very strong. And there can never be any spiritual manipulation in your life. It means you are spiritual, spiritually powerful to an extent that you are you're always aware of what happened to you in your spiritual life and you have the power to control whether that thing should happen to your life or not. And whenever you sense danger in that dream, you can easily wake up, discontinue the dream and exit the dream. It means you are very strong in spirit and that you have a good relationship with your guardian angel. You need to always pray in order to maintain that relationship and also make sure that you continue being spiritually strong. Thank you for watching. Idea on how to serve rice. You plop it on a plate, hope for the best. Let's not act like our home. We're living with Gordon Ramsay and we live in a Michelin star restaurant. It's rice. Okay, and like to be honest, half the time at home, I'm just surviving. I'm functioning. You think I want to have three dishes to do something that I otherwise wouldn't want to do with one dish? Heck, my lazy ass half the time I'm using paper plates to avoid having one dish of a plate. Three dishes? Get out of here with that. So it is wow. a one piece. Wow. Can you do a piece? <laughs> yeah. Take a video. Oh, video is another another Take Kodak. It's you. another Kodak moment. Kodak right. moment. So, 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 yeah. So this part has to derotate underneath. Wow. So it's one. It's one piece. It's one. So is this the aortic end? Yeah. That's nice. Embryo. We're amazing. Oh. The Pythagorean tree, they fall of posting fractals every day until Harvard accepted this guy in. Look at this, the Pythagorean tree. Oh man, look at this, this one looks fantastic. Now is this geography? Chameleons don't change color to match their environment. Chameleons actually just happen to be green to match their environment. In fact, chameleons change their color to match their mood. And it's not when they're happy or angry or scared or sad. It's more of when they're excited versus not excited. When a chameleon is calm, they're green. But when a chameleon gets excited for let's say a mate or for a competitor chameleon, they change their color to like an orange, red, yellow. The reason for this is because they have tiny crystals in their skin that they can actively change the shape of. In their skin, they have yellow and red pigments, but underneath those pigments, they have this layer of nanocrystals made of guanine, the same stuff that DNA is made out of, and they can change the distance between these crystals. And these crystals give off structural light, which based on the spacing of the crystals determines the color of light that's bounced off. And so when the crystals are really, really close together, blue light is reflected. And blue light mixed with the yellow pigment in their skin already makes them look green. But when the chameleon is excited, it will stretch those crystals out, increasing the spacing. And as the spacing increases, the color of light shifts from blue to green to yellow to orange to red. And so therefore, as the chameleon gets more and more excited, the color of the chameleon also changes because that structural color changes from blue all the way down to red. Chameleons don't change their color to match their environment. They change their color when they're excited or not excited. And they go from being green when they're calm to being yellow, orange, red when they're excited. And in some chameleons, underneath that layer of nanocrystals, there's another layer of nanocrystals that are more disorganized and even further apart that reflect infrared light, which scientists think is a mechanism to help the chameleon stay cool. All right, I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you in the next one. Stay curious, everybody. Bye.